What's going on everyone? Welcome to my channel uh, where I get to explore the world but most importantly I get to explore this beautiful province Nova Scotia and in today's episode we're exploring the 13,300 kilometers worth of coastline in this province. Let's do it. Nova Scotia consists of seven unique regions, all of which are surrounded by bodies of water. There is four different bodies of water surrounding Nova Scotia. You have the Atlantic Ocean, the Bay of Fundy, the Northumberland Strait, and the Gulf of St. Lawrence. Now, working our way around the province, we have South Shore, Yarmouth and Acadian Shores, Bay of Fundy and Annapolis Valley, Northumberland Shore, Cape Breton Island, my personal favorite, Eastern Shore, and then Halifax Metro. First up, we got the South Shore. This is home to Peggy's Cove and the Blue Nose Schooner that you might see on your Canadian dime. This region is known for its world-class beaches with white sand and crystal clear water. While cruising the South Shore, you're bound to find beautiful beaches. They're just everywhere. In the next minute, I'm going to highlight some of the must-see locations along the South Shore. Unfortunately, there are too many gems to share, so subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos. Next up, we have Yarmouth and Acadian Shores. Yarmouth and Acadian Shores is quiet and peaceful, yet full of adventure. This is where land meets the sea, and honestly, probably a little bit of fog. Actually, no, a lot of fog. Along the coastline, you will spot quaint fishing villages, untouched cliff sides, and stunning beaches. Enjoy the next bit of some noteworthy spots. Bay of Fundy and Annapolis Valley region. This is where we get to claim the world's highest tides. Coastlines here have a real Jurassic Park vibe. One hundred and sixty billion tons of seawater flows into the Bay of Fundy. This happens four times a day, about six hour intervals. If we go south of this region to the Digby area, you can spot an abundance of sea life. A variety of whales including humpbacks, dolphins, puffins, and more. Here I am with the majestic and graceful humpback whale. This region is home to the well-known Cape Split. These cliffs reach a height of 200 feet, so make sure you're careful while close to the cliff's edge. There are lines of erosion that lead to steep edges with loose soil and rocks underfoot, so make sure you're safe. 
I'll probably be here all day if I talk about all the wicked spots in this region. So I'll just show you with video. Take some notes. Northumberland Shores. This is where you'll be able to find some of the warmest ocean beach water in the province. This region has rich Gaelic culture and an abundance of history, as the town of Picto is known as the birthplace of New Scotland. Picto is where many Scottish immigrants arrived as they voyaged across the Atlantic Ocean. Waters in this region can reach up to 22 degrees Celsius during the summer months. And let me tell you, that's pretty warm for an east coast ocean swim. So make sure to pack your swimsuit or not, you know, skinny dipping works too. I'd like to take the moment to shout out my creator buddies Davy and Skye for helping me out with footage for this segment. There's literally no one doing it better than these guys in the province. They are producing some of the best content in Nova Scotia. I will attach uh, their socials in the description. Please make sure to check them out. You guys will not be disappointed. Thanks again, guys. Cape Breton Island, the most dramatic coastal views out of all the regions. Cape Breton is the definition of Canada's ocean playground. From dramatic cliff sides to breathtaking beaches, this region has it all. Cape Breton is home to the world famous Cabot Trail, which is a road that wraps around part of the region with unreal and endless panoramic views. Be sure when you make a road trip here to catch a sunset at Skyline Trail. One of my favorite beaches in the whole province is located at one of the most northern tips, North Harbor Beach, or otherwise known as Dingwall Beach. This beach has a beautiful mountainscape in the background. The beach has a total length of over five kilometers. It's a spot you must check out. Next up, we have the Eastern Shore. Surrounded with pristine wilderness and some of the best East Coast surfing, these surfing locations are an attraction to surfers from all around the world. Big swells come along throughout the winter months and you'll see lots of brave souls shredding freezing cold barrels. There is no shortage of white sandy beaches along the coastline here, Martinique being one of them, which reaches a length of five kilometers. 
a great beach for surfing or coastal walks. One Hundred Wild Island is also located here, which is a coastal wilderness area that is protected. These islands offer sheltered coves, turquoise waters, windswept highlands, and unique boreal forests. Last but not least, we have Halifax Metro, or otherwise known by Haligonians as the HRM. Home to Nova Scotia's biggest city, Halifax, with a whopping four kilometers of harbor front boardwalk. This is the port for shipping container boats and cruise ships. This region has lots of great coastal hiking and beaches. Duncan's Cove is one of my favorites. You will never not see seals sunbathing or swimming here. There are some great local beaches as well, like Crystal Crescent or Rainbow Haven. But beware, they can get pretty busy in the summer months. Well guys, you made it all the way around the province, all 13,300 kilometers worth. Now it's your time to go explore this beautiful province as there is no shortage of beautiful coastal scenery. Let me know down below in the comments what region you guys think takes the cake for the best coastal views. Please make sure to hit that like and subscribe button as it helps me produce more videos for you guys in the future. Anyways guys, until the next one, let's escape.